Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Welcome to today's lecture on epigenetics. In the past, we often thought of genetics as a fixed blueprint determined solely by our DNA sequence. However, epigenetics introduces a fascinating layer of complexity, revealing how environmental factors can influence gene expression without changing the underlying DNA itself. Let's explore what epigenetics is, how it works, and its implications for health and development. Epigenetics refers to changes in gene activity that do not involve alterations to the DNA sequence. These changes can affect how genes are turned on or off. Key mechanisms of epigenetic regulation include DNA methylation and histone modification. DNA methylation involves the addition of a methyl group to the DNA molecule, typically at cytosine bases. When methyl groups are attached to certain genes, those genes can be silenced, meaning they won't produce proteins. Histones, on the other hand, are proteins around which DNA is wrapped. Chemical changes to these proteins can either tighten or loosen their grip on DNA, influencing gene accessibility. When the DNA is tightly bound, genes are less accessible and less likely to be expressed. Now let's discuss how environmental factors play a role in epigenetic changes. Various elements such as diet, stress, exposure to toxins, and even social interactions can influence our epigenetic landscape. Nutritional factors can have profound effects on gene expression. For example, folate, a B vitamin found in leafy greens, is crucial for proper DNA methylation. A diet deficient in certain nutrients can lead to altered methylation patterns, potentially increasing the risk of diseases. Psychological stress has also been shown to influence epigenetic changes. Chronic stress can lead to the overmethylation of genes associated with immune response, potentially increasing vulnerability to illness. Exposure to environmental pollutants, such as heavy metals or endocrine disruptors, can lead to changes in DNA methylation patterns. For instance, Studies have shown that children exposed to lead can have altered gene expression related to neurodevelopment. Interestingly, social factors, such as parenting and social interactions, can affect gene expression. Research on mice has shown that maternal care can influence stress response genes in offspring, demonstrating how early life experiences can have lasting epigenetic effects. Understanding epigenetics has significant implications for health and disease. Since epigenetic changes can be reversible, they open up exciting possibilities for new treatments. For example, researchers are investigating how to use epigenetic drugs to reverse abnormal gene expression in diseases like cancer. In some cancers, certain genes that normally suppress tumors may be silenced due to abnormal methylation. By using drugs that target these epigenetic changes, we might restore normal gene function and improve patient outcomes. Moreover, epigenetic mechanisms could explain why identical twins who share the same DNA can have different health outcomes. Their different environments can lead to distinct epigenetic profiles, resulting in variations in disease susceptibility, response to treatment, and even longevity. In conclusion, epigenetics represents a dynamic interplay between our genes and the environment. As we continue to uncover the complexities of epigenetic regulation, we gain valuable insights into health, development, and the potential for innovative therapies. One, what is the main focus of the lecture on epigenetics?
2. Which mechanism, was specifically mentioned as a way to silence genes? Three, based on the lecture, what can be inferred about the relationship between diet and health? Four, how does the discussion of stress relate to the overall theme of epigenetics? Five. In the context of the lecture, what does silenced most closely mean? Six. Why might understanding epigenetics be significant for medical research?